Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, so much to cover in the next three minutes. Tomorrow, even warmer than today. We're tracking two coastal storms. The first one's basically a miss on Friday, but it will have implications on us here in Connecticut as it will draw another Arctic air mass southward uh, into southern New England. Then we're tracking a second coastal storm. This one looks to have a higher impact. It will certainly be more potent, and it will take a track right now right across southern New England. We'll show you the different scenarios coming up in just a moment. Right now from Hartford, though, checking out the scene from atop Hartford 21, looking toward the east. Uh, we've got, of course, chunks of ice uh, floating down the Connecticut River. 39, though, above freezing in the capital city, thanks to that southwesterly breeze. Our view from New Haven, quite nice as well. You can see the shadows growing as the sun is setting. And as we head into uh, New London as well, the flag moving around, uh, indicating uh, from this vantage point a west wind at 7 miles an hour. So we're up to near freezing in the northwest hill, so that's certainly nice. A degree shy of 40 in Hartford, right at 40 New Haven, 37 Willimantic, 38 currently in Norwich. So an afternoon that felt so much nicer compared to the past several days. And we've got this west southwesterly wind right now that's going to help to supply us with an even warmer air mass for tomorrow. But regardless of the wind direction, of course, the wind is going to make it feel a little bit chillier when it's up. So we've got some upper 20s coming in northwest of Interstate 84, feeling more like 34 in Hartford, 36 Chester, 34 the current wind chill in Groton. So yes, you'll still need the jacket if you're heading out and about this evening, but we're not talking about the magnitude of the cold and the wind that we have experienced over the past couple of days. So region wide, just some scattered mid and high level clouds across southern New England for the time being. 40 degree warmth is not far from us. This is what we're going to be tapping into tomorrow. Right now, 41 in New York City, 43 Philadelphia, 46 in the nation's capital. So overnight tonight, we'll see uh, more clouds than a clear sky. It's going to not going to be as cold as the past couple of nights. We're looking at low and mid 20s inland, mid to upper 20s along the 95 corridor. And then our Thursday tomorrow featuring more clouds than sunshine. At times we'll see some sun, but likely throughout most of the day we'll see a mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures, however, though, a little bit warmer than today. Upper 30s, mid and upper 30s in the Northwest Hills, low 40s elsewhere inland and uh, into the mid 40s we go along the 95 corridor. Now, as we head tomorrow evening into early Friday, we've got coastal storm number one that will uh, be a near miss. So bringing precipitation as close as the Cape and Island. Some of our models bring this a little bit farther back to the west into at least Rhode Island. So if we were to see any sort of precipitation, it would be light and really confined to eastern Connecticut. Uh, but as the storm system pulls away, it gets stronger and draws southward even colder air. Here's a look at wind chill values on Futurecast Friday evening. So if you have plans to take it out and about, wind chill values will be going from the single digits sub zero. Look at where we are as we head toward 10 o'clock on Friday night, 5, 10, 15, nearly 20 degrees below zero. It even gets worse by Saturday morning. That's when wind chill values could be 10, 20, 25 degrees below zero. So uh, certainly problematic as we head into the upcoming weekend. Uh, Saturday otherwise will feature a lot of sunshine and dry weather. It's uh, as we head into Sunday, we'll start off with a even colder weather with less wind. But as we head later Sunday into Sunday night, this coastal storm develops heads up in our direction. Uh, the models lately have been trending a little bit farther to the west. That means perhaps some snow to start over to a mix and then rain. So we'll keep you updated. Still several days to go uh, before, of course, uh, we have to really fine tune the forecast and there will likely be more changes between now and then. So 30s on Friday, Friday night again, Saturday morning, wind chill values well below zero. Saturday's a bright day. Clouds increase on Sunday, but dry tracking that system for Sunday night into Monday. Then as we head toward the middle of next week after the holiday weekend, looking pretty quiet uh, for Tuesday and Wednesday for shoreline highs uh, this weekend, 19 on Saturday, but it'll feel much colder. 31 Sunday, then near 40 by MLK Junior Monday. All right, Mark.